Hey guys, welcome back to Medical Coding with Blue. All right, first, before I start my episode today, I want to thank, sincerely, Karen and Annie for their pledges. They are the newest members of my Patreon family. So thank you so much for your pledge and thank you so much for uh, subscribing to my channel on Patreon. Uh, if you don't know or if you're new to my channel, I do have a Patreon page and the information and the stories that I share there are very exclusive to Patreon that I do not share on the YouTube main page. So if you're interested, I'll be leaving the link down in the description box below. I do have supporter levels starting off at just $1 a month. So um, if you're interested, I hope you'll go over and subscribe. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the episode today. Today's episode is going to be all about what do I mean when I say that book coding and real world coding are two different things. I've talked about this on other episodes and I thought it was pretty clear, um, but I don't have a specific episode about it. So I decided to go ahead and just make an episode. <laughs> so if anybody asks, I can just direct them here. When you have book coding, it is the perfect scenario. All of the information is there, everything is documented, all the measurements, everything is clear, okay? It says left, it says right, it says how an injury happened, it says when a mother was pregnant, how many babies did she have, on and on and on and on. All the details is there. Everything is perfect from a book. However, <laughs> When you get into the real world, a few things happen, okay? Providers are different. They are each unique, every last one of them, okay? And there are some providers that are more detailed than others. There are some that, that give all of the details and all of the, the little, little things. And then there are those that are very cut and dry. So it just depends on who is documenting. There are going to be times when you are going to look at documentation and you're going to have to query your provider. Clearly, you would not have to do this if you were just doing book coding. When you are doing real world coding, it is completely different. The gloves are off, okay? There is no kid gloves when it comes to real world coding, okay? Like I said, every provider is different and unique. So you have to learn and know how to submit proper queries, okay? That's another thing. Um, every facility is different. Different facilities have different rules, just like different insurance companies have different rules. So <laughs> with that in mind, there are some things at certain facilities that are just rules specific for that facility. It just depends. Uh, some are just very unique situations that uh, you would have to code particularly in a certain way. It just, like I said, it all depends. Uh, the nuances in real world are different from the, the very directness that's from a book. <laughs> Does that make sense? So when providers are documenting things, they may say, um, stone they'll say stone throughout all of their documentation do they do that in the book no they say calculus why because the book the the diagnosis book says calculus so there's going to be little differences like that other than that um like i said there's different facilities that have different rules everybody learns differently all providers document differently it is different everywhere you go. So this is why I say, as long as you know the fundamental basics of how to code, you will be fine. Now, if you're brand new and this is going to be your first job and you hear me say book coding and real world coding is two different things, don't panic, okay? They told me this even when I was in school. And it's true because sometimes, <laughs> Things that happen in the book would never happen in real life. Things that happen in real life are never published in a book where you can have a guide on how to, to code that particular scenario, okay? 
the, the scenarios that are in the books, unless it's an advanced book, are going to be very clear. With uh, documentation in the real world, it's going to be unique to that provider, unique to that patient. <laughs> so it just depends on what's happening. I know I keep saying it depends, but literally it does depend. Just have to be prepared. Knowing your rules and knowing your guidelines, as long as you follow those, it will help you. Now, I posted a uh, link for uh, Z-Dog, Dr. Zubin Damania, his uh, provider and patient, like they're talking back and forth. And he's talking about documenting and how in the video, the provider, Dr. Z, he is um, talking about how he has to look at a screen all day and how he has to treat the electronic medical record. And the patient is sitting there and the patient is trying to explain to the doctor, you know, what's going on with them. And then they're telling them very, very intimate details about their life, you know, and and this doctor has to look at this electronic medical record, trying to make sure that everything is there. And then they have some administrator that has never laid hands on a patient come in and yell at them and make them feel bad. You know, this is why I tell you guys. You have to build relationships with your providers and you're never, ever, <laughs> and this is, this is golden advice, okay? Never, ever, ever put your provider in a position where they feel less than. You always want to build them up, okay? Even if they do have bad documentation, it's all right. You can work with them. I have seen providers go from very, very poor documentation being having very poor poorly uh, communicated documentation to excellent stellar documentation and I did that by building them up you always want to work with your provider to get the documentation excellent you want really good examples right you want to <laughs> book level examples of their work, but it takes a really good and invested coder into making things better to get there, okay? So once you get out in the real world and you, on top of knowing all of your guidelines and on top of knowing proper coding things, now you gotta get yourself involved with alpha personalities. But it's true because a lot of, of providers face moral injury. That's what Dr. Zubin Damania calls it, moral injury. Other people call it burnout. But I do think, I agree with him, uh, moral injury does fit better than burnout because they have so much pressure put on them on how to document and how to do this and how to do that. This is when working with them really does benefit both the patient, the provider, the facility, the coder, everybody wins when the medical coder and the provider <laughs> are able to communicate. But it takes one person to say hello. And most of the time, it's not going to be the provider. The provider doesn't have to make the first move. You can. I learned that one. I learned that one the hard way in the beginning. And it was, it, was a, it was a wake up call because I didn't think that providers wanted to hear anything that I had to say. And not that I'm trying to veer off topic, uh, <laughs> but I'm just saying that in the book, things are gonna be straightforward and to the point and, and excellently detailed. In the real world, it may not be that way, okay? And they're, they're not always, providers are not always going to select the correct codes if they're selecting codes. Um, they're not always going to document clearly. Again, something that you need to work with them. And another thing, <laughs> coders should know this. You catch more flies with honey than you do vinegar. So no attitude. You want to go to a provider with a good attitude with a let's work together attitude. Even if they come off a little gruff, you still have to be the one to rise above it and continue to work with them. 
because everything that you do to to support them and to to get them to to be better is going to eventually come back around and you'll eventually see it. You may not see it right away. <laughs> you may uh, encounter a few uh, bumps along the way, but trust me, all of that is worth it, especially when you dig your heels in and you are there to be supportive and you are there to help and look and dig in your, in your provider's documentation and take the time to look and not be uh, a coder that is just trying to do the easiest thing and get out of it as quickly as possible. Dig. And, and if your provider can get bumped up a level, bump them up a level and then let them know, hey, I had one, you did really good. I was able to move you up from a level three to a level four. Do you know how excited they get? Oh, and please, if you tell them that, that they went from a three, they gave themselves a three and they actually ended up with a five. Oh, <laughs> it is like you just gave them gold. But it tells them that number one, that they're doing good with their documentation. If they deserve it, right? A level higher level. And then number two, it's telling them that you are really trying for them, that working with you is beneficial for them. So this is a, this is a mixed, mixed video today about real world and, and the book. But don't let all of this scare you. Let it empower you. Let it prepare you. Let all of my videos prepare you if you're not out in the real world yet <laughs> because trust me when you go out there and you have these tools and you're ready and you know do you know how how much further ahead you will be this is 10 years this whole thing is is 10 plus years of experience that i'm sharing with you guys that you are going to have these these skills and these little little tidbits under your belt, ready to go. I'm just saying. So look, look at these things. Make sure that you are knowing your guidelines because that's the only way you're going to be able to help your providers. Let them know that you care. Okay, let them know that you care. And even if they are very stubborn, you just have to change your approach and, and keep trying to work with them. And I that, that video... Um, from Dr. Zubin Damania, uh, really did touch me yesterday because in, in the provider side, I can hear what my providers were like when I first got them, how they felt like nobody cared and how they felt like they were a slave to this electronic medical record and they had to do it right and they had to do it just so and they had to do it this way and they had to do it that way and and they felt like they were taking away from their patient. I've had this discussion more than once. So this is why I reinforce that of, well, we, we can get this done together. We can work together to make this better. So it is possible. It is possible to, to help them to get to book examples, <laughs> book level examples, which when I, when I see some of my providers or documentation, I'm like, oh my God, this is so beautiful. <laughs> and then when I see that they are selecting the diagnosis correctly and everything, and it's just a really awesome feeling, you know, but going back to <laughs> the topic at hand, if you have providers that are not documenting left and right or, you know, just the, the little detail stuff, just work with them to improve the little detail stuff. If you have to go slowly, okay? Uh, some providers do not take well to a fire hose approach, okay? They need to have things done slowly. You can't give them a bunch of things all at one time. They need slow <laughs> they need steady and they need consistency okay that's also a message in this video here too be consistent with your providers uh have a good attitude when you're talking to them 
particularly about improving what they're doing. Um, let them know when they are doing well because nobody wants to get beat down. And if you have an attitude of, I'm going to teach them a lesson, they don't need to learn lessons from you. They need you to partner with them. That's what they need. I've had many coworkers uh, talk like that. And I, and I tell them the same thing. They don't need to learn lessons from you. They don't. Because they're, they, they're very perceptive and they can tell right away. They can tell if you are, if you have that attitude. So you need to go in, be very open with them and, and get them to that <laughs> book example level <laughs> of perfect documentation. Okay. You, you want to, you want to strive for excellence, but, um, it is okay to work at it slowly. Okay. It's, it's not something that can be done overnight. I'm just saying. And so I hope this explanation and mixed message of working with your providers, uh, to, to build up that teamwork, uh, drives the message home today <laughs> because you know that's what you that's what you can expect when you get out in the real world that it's not going to be textbook it's going to be however this provider is is it's easier for them i see whole clinics who every single provider has a different template instead of using one uniform template for the whole clinic where they all follow the same pattern. I've seen them several times just go rogue and do whatever they want to do. So it's up to you to learn and be flexible with their documentation. And, and But the goal is to make sure that everything is clear. The goal is to make sure that the provider is documenting appropriately and then getting all of their code selected appropriately as well so that's my message for today <laughs> uh, but I I hope that that like I said I hope it clears it up for you guys there's going to be a lot of things that are are going to be different and it's different because of many different reasons sometimes it's the facility and sometimes it's the insurance company it could be any number of things but as long as you know your guidelines and as long as you are communicating, you're going to be good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up. Um, but if you are uh, interested, tomorrow will be Quiz Friday. I am very excited. <laughs> so I will go ahead and wrap this one up. But if you are a medical coder, a medical coding student, somebody curious about the fascinating world of medical coding, a provider or a nurse, I invite you to like and subscribe and follow me on my journey in medical coding. I will see y'all on the next video. Bye.